<laughs> My name is Chelsea Reed, and I am 29 years old. And I'm Irene, Chelsea's grandma, Irene Reed, and I'm 80. There's no sort of one thing. It's, I think, everything she is as a person and what she holds and encompasses. Just watching her on, uh, whether it's a day-to-day -day or weekly basis, I'm constantly inspired by her attitude of being fearless and just sort of jumping headfirst into everything. She used to be a runner, and I think she still pursues that sense of running at things head-on and never doing anything um, with a half beat. It's, it's with her full heart. A lot of times, people see their grandparents on an infrequent basis. And I've had the utmost pleasure of living not so far down the road or, or 15 minutes away. So we get together quite often and we stay very close in terms of going over for weekly tea. Um, we ski together. I think a lot of times when people think of grandparents, you think of, you know, maybe taking things slower, but she still operates at a very quick speed. I mean, we still golf together. We still can ski together. So just being active and sharing those moments are really special. Well, partly what Chelsea just said every day, really trying to be a good role example. But I don't do it consciously because we share a lot together. She's a old soul and a young body. <laughs> so we talk a lot and share a lot about what I've done. And when she was little, we, I used to push her into things she thought she couldn't do and discovers that she can because she was a much quieter child. But now, as you can see, she's pretty confident. <laughs> For me, my grandma has been more like a mom to me in many ways. We bond over so many activities, whether we're golfing together, skiing, and just that connection has always kept us close. So oftentimes, you know, I, I still do go to my mom for advice, but I just hold what she says so dearly to my heart. And she always gives great sound advice. And um, it's just been really amazing to connect over, um, you know, a cup of tea and just to share stories and insights, not only learning from, you know, her different experiences, but also sharing, learning through my own as well. Oh, mm -hmm. so many. I think just even just being myself, I think my grandma's always encouraged me to be who I am. And I found, you know, in life, you can get so caught, caught up in trying to impress other people, but she's just sort of effortlessly, at least in my opinion, been herself. Uh, and just setting that, that's, that, that tone and sense that you can be um, your own person and being you is the best. Mm -hmm.